Hello, everybody, and welcome to Starshin 5. Integrity and some some other shit. I am KZ. This is the first Starshin LP you're seeing here on the channel. I have limited I have limited experience with this franchise. I've heard this game isn't very good. <laughs> I've heard it's average. And, well, I play quite a few average games. I'll be the test of that. I bought the game, so it's like... I have to play it. I have to get my money's worth, man. So we're gonna get into it. Uh, if you don't know, Star Ocean is an action RPG series that involves space? I... I guess? Well, whatever. We're starting. Um... I've heard some people warn me about this game and that some parts are kind of bullshit. So we're gonna be playing on Earth difficulty. Just personal preference. I'd like to experience the game, but I'd also like to not want to kill myself. You know? Eh, eh. Also, my uh, mic might not be perfect sound-wise than you are used to in recent videos. My uh, my professional mic seems to have suddenly gone on the fritz. So, a bit of a downgrade. So I'm a bit more tinny. Please forgive me as we go forward and watch watch this. Y y yeah, fight choreography. Yeah, combat tutorial. Yeah, there you go. Tell me how to play. I need to know what I'm doing. Pressing the stick allows your character to move that way. Push it all the way over to run. Okay, blah blah blah. Dash holding circle. Uh, walk holding square. However, you cannot, you can't walk during battles. We need you to use that square button for other shit. Right, right stick for camera. Reset the angle with R3. Up and down to adjust the height and distance. Options for these features can be adjusted. At circle and X. Uh, okay. Those are your attacks. Weak and strong. All right. Depending on your character's distance from the target, his or her attack style will automatically change to coarse corners or long-range combat, denoted by the short or long icon. Okay. When multiple valid targets exist and your targeting type is set to manual, you can either press the L or R1 buttons to switch between targets. You may also press L and R1 simultaneously to select the target nearest to you. If your targeting is set to semi-auto, it'll automatically switch to the enemy nearest to you. The target is then manual by default if you want to change. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so I have to close that. Okay. Eh. Hmm. So, let me get a feel for this. For one, 60 frames a second. That's always... That's always nice. I mean, this game... This game isn't the biggest... Actually, this game does look... Look alright, but you know. Uh, let's see. It doesn't seem to cling to the enemy, at least it being targeted. And I'm just trying to get a bit of a feel here. So let's, let's do some hits. How does it feel? Uh, it feels alright. Are you sure? You've done like nothing, Ted. Uh, guard with square against weak attacks, thus reducing the damage while guarding. You can sidestep by pushing... Okay, so tails up controls. Cool. Alright, so I seem to be getting cancel bonuses by canceling my weak attack into a strong attack, so that's interesting. Powerful abilities uh, can be used called battle skills uh, by expending MP. There are two categories, special arts or... Yeah, that thing. A signaturgy? I'm gonna call it fucking... I'm not gonna call it anything. I'll hold down X or circle to do it. Do your supers with that. I'll sig... sig my signature move. There you go. Uh, battle skill map to X will be a weaker attack. Circle will be more damaging. You can set them. Alright, cool. Oh man. Oh, that's all bad. What's uh, my hope down for you? Ooh. That was... 
That was big. I do appreciate the health bars. I like that. Huh. I'd say that should about do it for training. How about we take a lap around the village? Okay. Five whole years have passed since you took over for your father. So much has changed in that time. You think so? What's more? The capital is supposedly a real scary place now. Word is, the people slain by monsters and bandits are innumerable. <sighs> so I've heard. It's all so different. I just... I hope your dad's okay. Trust me, you don't need to worry about him. We've been able to turn a blind eye to these atrocities so far. How long until Stahl is attacked? Hmm, does it just go by like that? So, what I heard is that this studio was on a budget. Star Ocean didn't exactly have a well-received game last time with The Last Hope. And, from what I heard, a large a large chunk of cutscenes in this game aren't actually cutscenes. They are people standing around talking in the in-game, like, mode. It doesn't, like, transfer, like... Like, if you were playing, like, a Square Enix game, you would run, and then they do a fade-out, and then it's a cutscene. Apparently, they couldn't afford that. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, that's a... That's a thing, uh... Alright, that's... That's our menu. But it's okay, not everyone can afford... Can afford, you know... Cutscenes. It's hard, you know? It's hard being a... Almost, kind of somewhat dead series but I'm coming in this in a positive light like like obviously I'm gonna make mention to this game not really doing that well review wise both uh, both in Japan and stateside that being said I am coming coming into it you know I'm not peeing because I just want to have a good time so it's like eh, I'm not exactly looking to Looking to kick a game while it's down. I'm willing to give anything a chance. Also, I'm doing a special test here. If you are watching this video right now, it means that this LP exists. Uh, point being, I'm probably not going to put this LP up unless I have uh, completed it. Unless I've beaten the game. Uh, you may be wondering why I would do that. Um... On the off chance that I think this game is fucking garbo. Do not leave the village. Like, on the off chance I think this game is actually trash and I end up wanting to quit, it's like I don't wanna I don't wanna do that to my viewers. If I can help it, so not doing that. Not doing that this time. So you see in this video means that we completed it. Where the fuck are we going? You wanna you wanna fucking tell me, bro? Hello. I can... I can buy berries. I can... get a lot of... Get a lot of stuff. Look at all that. I have no money, I just realized, so I can't get anything. Uh, I played a little bit. Let's talk about my history with this series. I played and owned Star Ocean till the end of time. And I played that excited because I'm like, oh, it's a space JRPG where you, like, go to planets and stuff. And I think I played, like, 16 hours and we didn't leave the planet we were on. And I feel like I didn't have a fundamental understanding of what this hey, game shit is about. like Miki to you? Miki? Is Miki really 18 already? Huh, she looks way more mature than I did at her age. I mean, look I at her know. huge bug I eyes. I considered her a little sister. I can only think of her as a kid. Let's see what she's up to. Like, the the art style for these characters and their faces are the highest form of anime that I I I, I can't deal. What's going on? I I thought I saw some people off in the distance. Some people? I assume so. And I was curious since everyone's saying how dangerous things are now. Right there. Oh, no way. Your suspicions were right. Talk about being fishy. There's no way anyone could mistake them for stallions. What do we do? Do you have any ideas? Let's go to the mayor and think of a plan together. Come on! Oh, I mean, you're okay with letting them go? 
They'll just run away if we try to capture them. So what's the point? Don't you think it'd be better to prepare for an attack? <laughs> you're the heir to the Camus School of Swordsmanship, all right. You have the commander's instincts of your dad. Well, all right. Let's uh, let's head to the mayor and say, "Yo, shit's fucked," or "Shit has potential to get fucked." Let's go do it. Even though there are not really any cutscenes happening, I kind of I'm not exactly opposed to this because it's like you're. It gives off the effect of your playing the game a bit more. Pardon me if I find your tale of enemy scouts a little hard to swallow. Ew. So, who is it you think we're dealing with? Adalon. Adalon? You mean those vile bandits who are more monsters than men? In reality, they're a veritable natural disaster. They're so destructive that five years ago, my dad was asked to travel the country. Why? To specifically teach locals how to defend themselves against these degenerates. We're done for! How could we ever hope to do anything against those savages? Mr. Mayor, but this is all too far over my head. I don't know the first thing about fighting. Mr. Mayor, please, calm down. I will kill this them with my leader. sword. You have to be its proverbial rock. I'll be the one to lead our people in battle. But Finley. Well, it's not like anyone else is stepping forward. Might as well be him. I beg you, Fidel, please deliver our home from certain doom. <sighs> I'll give it everything I've got. Oh, God, I forgot his name is Fidel. Ugh. Sorry, I'm really not a, I'm not a fan of Cuba, guys. Sorry. Fidel Castro, he's just... He's a rough man. I don't think he should be leading these, these JRPGs. Mm. Take it. Take a drink. Oh, God, this mic's so bad, I can even... I'm listening to my audio to make sure it's always balanced. I can just... I can hear myself close a no bottle. Here. Oh, man. Anyway. Well, let's, uh... Let's get ready to go. I can like... I like the visual style of this game, to be honest. That and any J... Any game that's like 60 FPS, I like. I'm my hair out from all this stupid waiting. Really? Why? All the men are thinking the same thing. If no one attacks, we're the ones that are gonna pay. Still, I'd say that's preferable to getting raided. Think we can hold out? Maybe once at most. Uh, depending on their numbers. Once at most? Yes. Both the men and the village itself would be hurting by the second time. What do we do? We'll ask the capital for reinforcements. Either way, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh shit! Take the women and kids to the training hall. Gotcha. Fellow townsmen, prepare for battle. Oh, it just it just throws us in. I'll say this: this game's doing a good job of just throwing us into conflict. I don't know. There's there's something to be said for not having a bunch of cutscenes in your game and just getting into your game story. Alright, combat feels good. Just being able to hold the move and then do the thing you want. Yo, what's up, small, creepy alien child? Oh, yeah, the battle is still kind of going. Well, we got him. Good start. Good start. Let me adjust audio. I'm not hearing the voices that easily. I'm gonna lower that another two ticks. I can't handle how anime her she looks. Oh, she's got a little cleavage in there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Give me the goods. Give me, give me the gouda. All right, where are we going? There's actually no goal here. Uh oh. I would assume we would be going this way. 
That's the result of KZ not actually paying attention to what's going on in the game. You know why? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Well, none of this is good. I'll just run around the city until I find something. Ooh, nice. This little water reflections. I love games that are 60 FPS, though. Like, oh, you just throw, go right into battle. Oh, it's like Zestiria, though. This game is doing what Tell Zestiria did uh, in its game, where you go into the battle and there is no zone. There is no magic arena we load into. It's just the place we're in. It's whatever area, you know, we initiate. Those obstacles that were there are going to be there. Which means that there is a potential that this game may have some really fucked up camera angles. <laughs> They're hightailing it out of here! Yes! We did it! We won! Well, that's how we do, man. Yeah, somehow. I like that. You saved the city. Have some blueberries. Like, what the fuck? Ah, and she's like, Ah, thanks, I'm leaving, bye. She's like, I gotta go find some oversized contact lenses. The village lives to see another day. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. Who defended them off for now, but who knows what'll happen next time. Next time? You're saying they might come again? I think so. Please tell me that's not true. <laughs> so, what's next? If I know you... Take it you have some kind of plan? We'll ask the king for more troops. More troops? A splendid idea. I'll depart at once. I kind of like this idea where it's like, I, I know nothing about Star Ocean, but here's what I'm saying. I guess I won't be hearing any more of your quips for a while. Does that make you sad? More like relieved. Damn, you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in one piece. I will. And in time, too. Take care of Stahl for me, will you? Done and done. Excuse me, old woman. But you could tell this dude was not in the main party, because it's like, he's so ordinary. Like me, you could, you could say the same thing, but I'm wearing dumb clothes. <laughs> Those make me important. So, uh, what was I saying? I find it cool that there's this ultra, like, Techno HUD and you know UI and everything, but then we're also you know the super busy character designs of the multiple belts and the blue neon blue like trench coat and pardon me or like you know just just designs in general. But then it's also we got to go ask the king for more troops because some people raided us with swords and and fire bombs like it feels almost like a, a mix of it's medieval it in back. space and it's like that is dumb which means I love it it's like how you have Rogue Galaxy where it's like oh man it's about space pirates with an actual wooden pirate ship with jets on it and it's like what are you doing what are you actually doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. Some fucking nonsense. That's what you're doing. I hope you know I'm coming along. Huh? I just went through you. To the capital with you. Don't be stupid, Miki. Go on home. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you understand how dangerous it'll be? That's exactly why I'm going. You could barely handle things last night. I could never let you go. How could you say that? You're selfish. And if I somehow do get in trouble, I know you'll save me from it. Really, Miki? You won't take me with you. I'll go by myself. Maybe I'll get captured by sleazy bandits. Maybe I'll get attacked by savage beasts. But I'm still going. End of discussion. He looks so that. done with this shit. <sighs> okay, you've made your point. I'll take you with me. Yes! Under the condition that you make sure to stick by my side. Okay. Alright, you can switch to characters by hitting the left around the D-pad. The one you were previously controlling will be controlled by AI. Set the AI mode of the characters. One of the following options. Auto will perform actions even when you do not control them. Will not perform any actions unless you control him or her.
Uh, Signaturgy is a type of battle skill that allows you to cast spells that rely on the power of signets. So, signet. Signeturgy. Signeturgy? Signet. <laughs> Fuck that word. It's so awful. I don't know if it was in the other games, but if it was, it's still awful. Let me look at the menu here. Rolls. Attacker. Attack aggressively and often. Oh, so you can just change that stuff up. Okay, well. Everything's fine how it is. I don't think I have to do much management just yet. Now loading. Skill points are denoted by the diamonds. They are a form of currency required to learn and hone special specialties and roles acquired at the end of battles. As specialties and roles are integral to adventuring on in Fey Creed, it is in your best interest interest to increase their benefits by actively expending skill points to view how many you've acquired at the top of the screen. Unlock new roles by having uh, new party members join your party, progressing or leveling up. Blah blah blah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I I'm starting to glaze over a little bit. Please forgive me for not reading everything 100%. It's okay, I'll learn it later. The best part is I'm only putting this LP out when I'm done with the LP, which means everyone being angry if I don't understand anything later is useless. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Uh, oh, I need that much for each of these. Okay. And then obviously I would need 99 to upgrade that roll's level. Let's not focus on that for now. I could just throw her in there and then she'd be dead. That'd be cool. Saving your game. Hmm. You can save progress by examining save points that are located in, at inns and out in the wilderness. During cutscenes, however, they will glow red, meaning that you will be unable to use them. Ah. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I get it, because... This game is pretending that their cutscenes are the walkie-talkie moments. Man, they... I like how the game literally has to teach me how to load a game. They're really, uh, stupid-proofing this game. We have successfully saved the game. Excuse me. There are crabs over there! Uh, once you either attack or are attacked by enemies, fucking you'll encounter them. Make sure an enemy has the target of cursor and then press X, circle, square. Or press X or circle, pressing square will not cause your character to attack, but urge your allies to act. Hmm. Yeah, preemptive attacks. Uh, it'll be a surprise attack. Physical defense is reduced during those. Battles will end once you've eliminated all enemies, and then you get, uh, all the things that make sense. By moving your character outside the blue line, the escape gauge will fill, then you can run. Alright, cool. I got the basics. I have played games before. I have played Tales of games before, so many of the controls here actually, uh, transfer pretty easily. Show me what you got. Soundtrack is clearly done by Motoi Sakuraba, composer of Golden Sun, uh, Dark Souls, uh, Tales of, Mario Tennis. So it's like, it's like, 
I'm used to it. I'm used to his sound, basically. Uh, by the way, these are the most horrifying slime things. Look at these things. Screw these guys. I'll say, the gameplay is pretty good so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking the combat. I'm I'm liking the quick combat loop. I like I like just immediately running in and starting the fight and having it go quickly like that. So, I have nothing but good good things to say about this game so far. This game is doing a good job of just getting you fucking in there and just getting the adventure started. Like we might still be on the first video around now or you know, and we're already like, we've had our intro, we've had, you know, we've had a few scenes, we've had an attack on the village, we've already made our mission outside the village, we've left, we're journeying. Game gets going. You know, if, if I could compare this, this is kind of like what a natural progression, uh, you know, 2D like JRPGs would take uh, from like the 90s where it's like you're immediately getting shit done and cutting up a middleman. Is that to say that I do not like cutscenes and pacing of, of those types like a Square Enix or yeah I kind of like the Square Enix JRPGs. Uh, absolutely not because uh, granted this is published by Square Enix but it's also a dumb atreus but uh I prefer those just because I, I, I enjoy I enjoy Square Enix stuff quite a bit, you know. Uh, mostly Tetsuya Nomura stuff because he's uh, the god of the video game industry. But uh, I'm an idiot. I need to stop letting them do that to me. Also, having a pronounced health bar for each enemy is fucking awesome. That I love that. I I love knowing exactly how much health these guys got. I also enjoy that she's like, man, why did they suck so much? Already done? I love this fresh sage we're picking up. It's good for my health. I guess. I don't actually know. I'm guessing. Preemptive attack. Yeah, basically they die in like three hits. Yep. True, we've only we've only gotten started. I've also heard that this JRPG is a bit on the short side. Like compared to a lot of other affairs, which I'm kind of cool with. In case we were wondering, this is more another. This is just another LP I kind of wanted to do because I'm in this moment where there are certain, certain games that I want to do that are coming out in September, and I was trying to figure out what LP to do, you know, when, and uh, and this kind of came up. It's an interesting situation where I'm trying to find find certain. Uh, things to fill the time because I put out videos every day and this is that it it doesn't mean I'm not gonna put hundred percent effort in this Or nothing like that, but it's kind of like trying to figure out what works like I wouldn't do like Let's pretend I've never done Persona 4 before I would not do Persona 4 right now Just because you know, I'm not looking for a hundred episode LP but a 40 episode 50 episode yeah, probably. I could do something like that. That wasn't even worth the effort. What? It's over already? Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna hear that all the time from her, I'm sure. We have more we have more of this. You know what? I feel like saving it and upgrading uh upgrading uh what's his name? Fidel's fucking attack roll. Because that was at 99. Well, I'm an idiot. I need to stop just letting them do that. Hey, 
Oh man, I'm out of juice. 